Artifact 3 is a signature assignment for an instructional design course. This assignment I really like because I really appreciated being able to reflect on all of my learning in the course and just as I'm using the puzzle piece for my ePortfolio, this really allowed me to take all of the assignments that I was doing and put all the pieces together, figure out what I really learned and really what I learned about myself and how I am an instructional designer and what I feel is the best way to build courses and what may work for me and what may work for other people. Um, my experience that's reflected in the artifact, so I got to use Prezi and a bunch of different art, different digital medias, um, which was really fun for me. Um, I really liked to explain my goals and my visions to create student-centered learning and using multiple platforms for the same material. Um, so freedom of location and freedom of learning. So you'll see that when you if you go through the Prezi in the page if you click on impact. These are the things that really came through as the big puzzle pieces in this course. So student-centered learning and then multiple platforms for the same material. So that one was a big thing for me in this course, but that was some of the big learning that um, you really have to allow students to access it the way that works best for them. Um, that really helped me grow a lot in my ed tech journey. Um, it allowed me to think about how I will actually apply that learning in my career. So now I can think about, okay, I'm going to build this course, but how does it look on an iPad? And how does that look on a cell phone and mobile, not just on a desktop? It has to work for everyone. Um, I used a lot of theory and critical thinking, and I was able to evaluate a lot of tools and their effectiveness to see how they would work for um, different students and in different locations. Um, I also got to go through the reasoning and explained how to use the LMS, the videos, and all the tools that would encourage engagement and accountability for students. So, not just using tools for technology's sake, but how it will encourage engagement and accountability in those students. Um, I could explain what technology I would use, why and how I would use it to increase accessibility. So if you go through the Prezi, it'll explain all those um, reasons why. I think this assignment shows that I'm really able to take chances in using new technology and this was in 2018 that I took this course, but I'm in a new role now and I'm consistently trying new technology, specifically right now with AI. So it really allowed me to just be able to take chances and kind of click around and reflect on what works and what won't work. But there are a lot of things I will do differently. So in creating this page for the ePortfolio, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that I don't like about how I built this and how I do it differently. So I thought I'd share that in this page. Um, the first thing I would do is I wouldn't make a main page like this with a signature assignment linked to part one and part two. I put it all in one page. It reduces having to click around in the blog. I'd embed the Prezi into this signature assignment page. And because this part one is a Word document, I would definitely do a voiceover. I wouldn't just put a link here. Um, I would provide different ways for students to engage. Maybe they would be able to comment on the PDF that I have here um, or have some kind of engagement. Um, I would also use a lot more color. These pages are really boring. It doesn't provide a lot of interest for students to want to click around and do more. I would also use more podcasts and videos in this course. Um, 
And also, when I was doing the signature assignment with the reflections, I realized I would do a lot more podcasts and videos in the LMS courses that I created. Um, I will allow editing of the submitted assignments um, and allow the students and the staff to um, edit after their submission. So you can edit it and say, okay, I took your feedback, this is how I'm changing it now, and be able to reflect that. Um, I would also incorporate exams and quizzes in the course to allow students to test their comprehension. So not just a one and done, say, okay, I'll give you chances throughout the learning of this section to see if you're actually understanding and see what you're not and be able to ask questions about that. 